så tror jeg, at vi er live. Jeg skulle lige have hele spillet til lige at starte op. Den gad den heller ikke det hele. Men ja, vi skal bare i gang med at spille igen. Og øh, se om vi kæmper mod en miltank. Jeg har i hvert fald fået øh, traumer efter miltank sidst. Men øh, skal vi ikke bare øh, komme i gang? Jeg spiller mit lille Gant V-star igen. Hvis nu der er nogen af jer, der ser med derude, der godt kunne tænke sig, at jeg har spillet noget andet, så siger I selvfølgelig bare til. Og hvis der er noget med lyden eller noget, så må I også meget gerne bare sige til. Men i hvert fald, så synes jeg da bare, at vi kommer i gang. Jeg har fået en skål jordbær. Ah, se hvor lækkert det er. Så det er mega dejligt. Og jeg har selvfølgelig også min vand lige ved siden af her. Fordi at det er stadig ret varmt, så vi skal huske at få en masse vand. Jeg har godt nok en blæser til at køre, så det ikke bliver sådan mega varmt herinde, men øh, i hvert fald, så er det stadig ret lummer. Jeg kan heller ikke have den skruet helt op, så det eneste, I ville kunne høre, det var bare sådan blæselyd. Jeg ved ikke, hvordan sådan blæser siger. Happy Wednesday! Hello, thank you, happy Wednesday to you too. <laughs> Good luck, thank you. I hope it will... Uh, I took some games before I started, and that... I was very, very unlucky, so I... I wish it will go better this time, but uh, let's see. Maybe it will not. <laughs> but we are starting. De I played like three or four games before, and every time there was... My starting Pokemon was always some Pokemon I couldn't use, and yeah, it was uh, it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. And done. Let's hope we will win. They are weak to me, I think. Moltres is? Yes. So that's nice. <laughs> we love when they are weak. Mm -mm -mm. Let's hope we can get... No. And we don't need that boss's order, but we can just do this then. Mm -mm -mm. Good evening, hello, good evening, and welcome to my little stream. We are hoping it will go well this time. Last time it was... I mean, I had a tough time with Mil Tank. I'm gonna admit that. <laughs> and there he is. <laughs> I hate Mil Tank, but we have some bosses orders, so that is nice. Mm -mm. Yes, please. Yeah, we could just bust this forward. One down. Five to go. No, four to go. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> Are you playing it? Looks like it's going all right so far. Yeah, it is. It is. Are you playing yourself or just uh, know the game? Collecting anything? Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, so far it's going okay, but the uh, mill tank is... Yeah, we have a... I don't like mill tank. I l liked mill tank before this and now because of... It's ability, I hate it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Nothing. Uh, we can just use the bus. Who do we we want you? Now I used to play it a lot. Been looking for new streamers to watch, so here I am. <laughs> But uh, welcome to. I'm uh, Danish, so if my English is a little weird, it's <laughs> it's just because of that. Um, I'm not that good at uh, the TCG yet. I played a lot. I love the game, and I played uh, like in a club. You say that yes, in a club. So I really, really love it. But uh, I'm not the best yet. <laughs> I have no idea how to play lol. I just collect, hoping to learn a little right now. You should start playing. Did you just give up? Nice. First win. First win. 
You should uh, you speak good English. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. I try my best. But uh, yeah, uh, what was I about to say? Yeah, I think you should uh, Red Cartel. I really think you should uh, try considering playing the game. You can download this for free. It doesn't cost any money, and you can try to play it online. It's really really fun. And I think first you're playing it. Uh, you you see the cards differently. So when you are collecting, it's not only the like big hitters you want, also the small common cards are also very nice to pull sometimes. Hello, beautiful peeps. Hello, welcome to. Much appreciated. I appreciate anyone who tried to stream in the second language. I usually, it was, uh, it became English. I usually speak Danish, but when there are people in the chat speaking English, I just switch over to English. But uh, it in the beginning I started to stream, it was the plan that I only will do it in Danish and then it slowly became more and more uh, English. But I, I like it, it's fun. I have a lot of uh, English friends uh, through my Instagram, so I can talk with them through here. I wouldn't do that if it was Danish. Hello, appear again. I appear again. Hello, welcome to, welcome. We are just uh, playing. We uh, won against a mill tank uh, right before. So we had the first win. So that was, uh, that was nice. I wish I knew Danish. Danish is such a hard language. I'm, if I didn't know Danish, I would never, never, learn it it's like it's a language that doesn't make any sense at all it's it's just like well 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 <laughs> when you speak it's so uh, yeah it's not the prettiest language but uh, <laughs> i would love to speak a lot of languages i can speak danish and then yeah english but i would love to speak all kinds of language but i'm really bad at learning languages so I don't think that will happen. <laughs> and now this is Kyogre. I remember it being like a really annoying. Discard the top five cards of your deck and then choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage for each energy card you discarded in this way to each of those Pokemon. Oh my god. That's annoying. But uh, we can make it, we can make it. I speak English and Spanish and know very little French. That's really awesome. I would love to know French. I think it's such a beautiful language. I had it in school, but yeah, I, I'm really bad at learning language. So <laughs> even speaking dead, dead and no longer used languages like Hawaiian and Latin, that would be awesome. Like, I don't know how and how to learn it, but I would love to be like a person who could speak all kinds of languages. It will be so awesome, but I don't know where to learn all of those languages. Uh, let's see. Because I'm so bad at it. I also had the app. Do you know the app called uh, Duolingo? Duolingo. I don't know how to say it. I just say it in Danish. It's like Duolingo. But uh, that was... Uh, I used that a lot uh, when I had to learn uh, French. And it was really awesome, but I... It, I'm I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad at learning languages. Uh, let's see. We can just start taking this. Yules and then get the root up. So it's going okay so far. I think. I speak a little uh, German also, I remember, but not much, not much. Mm. Is Pokemon the game you normally play? Uh, actually not. Uh, I usually play uh, either Pokemon Unite or uh, Legends of Arceus or uh, Shining Pearl, but I don't have my Switch right now, so uh, we are playing this instead. But I think it's fun. I When I'm not streaming, this is one of the games I play the most. This and uh, and what's... Uh, Pokemon Unite is the games I play the most when I'm not streaming. So it's just... Uh, it's just fun to play this also. Uh, let's think... We will just get the root up again. Alright. <laughs> but 
But yeah, I play a lot of different things. And when the uh, Scarlet and Violet are coming out, I will stream that. And I also will stream when the Hogwarts Legacy is coming out. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into Harry Potter also, but I'm very much. So when that is coming out, I also want to play that. So I'm just streaming like whatever I want, I think. Uh, sometimes I'm streaming, I'm opening Pokemon, but that's mostly on my YouTube. And that's not happening so often because it's so expensive. I do not have the po uh, have the what to call the money for that. <laughs> I'm at work, lol. <laughs> I'm a hop off in like five. Haha, <laughs> I won't get work done. I'm in California, so I know times are very different. It's rare when I see your streams pop up when I'm free, lol. <laughs> yeah, I usually uh, stream in the morning here, uh, but it's like evening here now. But <laughs> yeah, you have to uh, have to do your work. I understand that. <laughs> uh, this is a bit annoying. Have we even used... Okay, we can just get her back then. But I don't even know what time is it in California right now. How different is the time uh, time zones? I don't know if... Oh, you hopped off in like five years. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Oh, it was the one with the balloon. Yells. It's 9.45 a.m. And a.m. is in the morning then. I'm so bad at remembering what the AM and PM uh, is. We don't use that in Denmark at all, so I'm <laughs> so bad at remembering. But AM is like after midnight, so it's in the morning, I guess. Let's see. Maybe I'm totally wrong, but... Uh, mm. AM is morning, lol. PM is night. Okay. <laughs> I was right then. No, that was annoying. I I think I it's a long time since I played uh, against Kai Urgwe before. Skull! <laughs> Skull! <laughs> uh, what time is it over there? It's... Uh, uh, what's it called? 6.45. Uh, so uh, almost 7 in the evening. Mm. So it's a lot different. <laughs> so when I'm usually streaming, it's like a evening over there. So that makes sense. You don't can watch me when I stream in the evening. <laughs> mm. Ugh, this is annoying. It's like 10 from killing it. Ugh. Hate it. Yo, 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 what's up there? Oh, and thank you, Evo Kim, for following. I don't know if you're Danish or English. You know, new uh, school, so maybe you are Danish. <laughs> oh, hello, welcome to. We started lige på hårdt med engelsk i dag. Det første, der skrev, det var engelsk, så... <laughs> Jeg bliver sat på prøve i aften. <laughs> annoying oh you're welcome mate i'm danish <laughs> okay thank you uh, i think this is a bit annoying actually we don't have anything hmm. let's just do this Oh, great. Okay, he only has three energies on it, so it can't hurt so bad. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh no. How did... Ah, okay. 
that's why I didn't know its attack. That was a bit annoying, but we won the first one, so uh, that's fine. So let's try again. <laughs> oh, and we have tickets enough to make a tournament next time, so we can do that. Mm -mm -mm. A wee. Oh, og tak for, øh, du fulgte mig, eller sagde jeg det lige før. What's on dinner today? I'm getting cold skål. That was sure what... I actually got cold skål also. So that's uh, awesome. I don't know if it has a name in, uh, in English. It's just cold skål. <laughs> Do they have that in other countries? Cold skål. <laughs> I can just... Uh, cold... School in English. Cold buttermilk soup. <laughs> oh, that was easy. That did, don't sound uh, so delicious. Cold buttermilk soup. The receipt for Danish buttermilk soup. <laughs> buttermilk soup. Yeah, we will stick. But if you think about it, cold school doesn't sound that delicious either. I don't know. I just think you are used to uh, to what's it called? Then cold school sounds better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Danish co. What did I say? Co buttermilk soup. Danish buttermilk soup. Yes, that sounds. Uh, is it cold soup? Yeah, it's cold soup. It's like with. How do you explain it? It's um, like it's called kerne milk, but I don't remember the word in English. But it's like a form of milk that is a bit more sour than the others, and then there is some vanilla and delicious stuff in it, and then you have like this sweet bread that is like like uh, croutons, I think, but not more sweet than the than them and bigger and then you eat it it's like super weird to explain actually maybe i can get the get the picture of it then maybe it will be uh, it's like this and then a lot of people put uh, strawberries in it and stuff like that it's so delicious i figured it was a dish with bread as a side love no no it's actually not it's it's just like this i don't know uh, how to explain it, but uh, it's really delicious. It's really delicious. You can make it yourself if you want to try a uh, Danish buttermilk soup. <laughs> but it's really delicious. I usually don't put strawberries in it. I like it just with... What does it, that co uh, called? Kammerjunker. <laughs> that is so funny. What's that yogurt? It's, it's like a... Yeah, you can say that it's like a form of that, but it's like a Danish uh, summer dish. We eat it a lot in Denmark, a lot in Denmark, but uh, yeah, it's based on buttermilk and plain yogurt and sweetened by sugar and vanilla. Uh, and I don't know if... Uh, reminds me of a Mexican dish called atoll, which is semi-warm soup you eat with bread and yogurt. Yo, I can add some fruits to it to add more flavors. The only thing I know that from Denmark is Lego. It's milk based. <laughs> yeah, that's not Lego in this, but <laughs> it's really delicious. It really, it it really is. So if you, yeah, with Danish Kammerjunker. Kammerjunker doesn't have a English name apparently, but uh, but yeah, I think if you uh, if you want to, you can, should definitely try to make it. It's it's really good. It's really good. I love it. In the summertime, it's almost the only thing I eat because it's you will get full, so you can eat it for dinner and stuff. But it's not like a heavy dish. So when it's really warm outside, it's it's really nice to eat. So I would definitely recommend you trying to make it. It's easy to make also by yourself. Visit Denmark and try it. Yeah, do that. Do that. <laughs> exactly. That. Uh, 
That should be uh, the reason to visit Denmark. Mm-hmm. We can thank the Danish for all the blocks with six dots. Then can form buildings, cars, sculptures, houses, and anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love Lego. I love Lego. It's it's really fun. It is. Oh, there's no one that will play. I only have uh, like built. Does it's called built uh, one uh, Lego figure when I'm. Uh, like this year i have when i was a child we built like big uh, really high uh, just what's it called buildings you just put them out uh, on top of each other and then you uh, smashed it <laughs> i had so much lego as a kid my grandparents had so much so we uh, when we were at their house we built a lot but uh, we didn't have that much at home i want to build so much more. I really want to build a lot of the Harry Potter Legos. I think it's really, really cool, but I don't have any room for it. One of my friends from high school moved back to Denmark after school. He said it was more fun over there. <laughs> we have a lot of fun in Denmark. I think Denmark has its flaws and its... What's it called? It's... I don't know the saying in English, but it's great here and it's bad here. I like it and I hate it. I don't know if that makes sense. I really love to live in Denmark. I think it's a really cozy country to be in. And I love that we have, like, we both have winter and summer and all of the seasons and people are nice here and stuff like that. But yeah, Cold Skull and Faxe Kondi, two main, two main reasons to visit Denmark. Yeah, <laughs> Cold Skull and Faxe Kondi. Cold butter soup. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, Denmark is definitely a country that will be worth a visit. I think there's uh, many nice things in Denmark. I grew up as a child thinking Lego is American. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't know it's Danish, actually, but uh, but it is. The US is getting sketchy, lol. <laughs> Do you mean of, uh, because of the... It's not the uh, Lego from there? <laughs> But yeah, move to Denmark. It's really nice here. I like it. I like it. It's it's fun and in the summer it's really great. And yeah, where you live on sea land, if it's okay, I ask. Where you live on sea land? Do you mean in Denmark or <laughs> on sea land? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm that now it's uh, Sherland. No, I'm not from Sherland. Oh, Sealand. Yeah, I see. I see. <laughs> Sealand. I'm uh, from uh, from Fyn, Fynsland. I don't know how to say that in English. It's Fyn. I'm uh, usually from. Um, I know Yulan has an English word, but I don't remember it. But I moved to Fyn. <laughs> so. Uh, no sea land for me. But yeah, Lego is really fun. Do you guys have a lot of Lego now also, or did you just build it as a kid? Oh, you one of them that sings when you talk. No, not yet, not yet. I only lived here for half a year, so uh, not yet, but it's slowly getting there. <laughs> My friend went to Copenhagen to compete in a basketball tournament that this club signed for. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I actually haven't been in Copenhagen that much. I think m- maybe five times in my lifetime. I think not that much. It's really expensive to go over to Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Um, but we have some nice big cities also, so you can just visit them. Evo Kim, are you from uh, Sealand? <laughs> Sealand. That was funny. <laughs> I'm from London, by the way. Oh, nice, nice. Are you going to uh, Worlds then when it's coming to London in August? No, we don't know what. Oh my god. I'm from Espia, born and raised. Oh my god, I'm from uh, Varde, actually. So that is very close. <laughs> I'm, uh, I moved from uh, from Varde half a year ago. What's that? Uh, Pokemon Worlds, the uh, where people come and play. 
Ja, TCG and Unite and all kind of stuff and see who is best. <laughs> it's in London this year. I know, so uh, maybe we're going. It's in 21st some and some oh some days around that uh, August, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Nice, I lived in for so shim <laughs> in Varde. That's nice. I'm uh, you actually from yeah, small time t t time t town. That was hard to say. Small town outside of Varde, but I lived in Varde a couple of years before I moved. It's nice over at the west coast. <laughs> uh, we won't do anything in Espia. It looks like LB16 got a really, really good start, so that's uh, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, I cry, I cry. Oh my god, why is he so lucky? Are you going to TwitchCon? Uh, in, is it in Denmark or... I don't think I have heard about that. Unless you mean uh, in London. <laughs> but I haven't heard about that. No, in Holland. Oh, no. I don't think so then. When is it? I want to go to like some more conversions and stuff, but... It's hard to get the time, I think, it with a full-time job and I have a lot of things all the time I should do, so it's, uh, this is so annoying, uh, so I, you don't know, that's okay, I don't think I'm going to uh, London to Worlds either, it was, I was meant to, but, uh, not uh, not anymore. In the weekend, I believe, so I guess you're not. Oh, no, then I'm not. Then I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually going out with my family Sunday to, uh, like, a castle we have in Denmark where it's, like, it's really, really fun. It's, like, there is uh, actors going around on this old castle and they made it all into a murder scene. And then you have to guess who killed this person, boy, girl man, woman, anything, and it takes place in different years, and so it's it's really it's really fun, so we have to go to that on Sunday, uh, if I'm go, uh, oh, you don't know, if you're going, things we all got in common work, <laughs> I should be getting off, but I'm still here, oh no, that's the worst, when you have to work over, then it's uh, good, you can, uh, just uh, sit back and watch uh, me lose this game because I think we're losing this. They are really having a great start. Murder mystery. Where is that you say? It's... Um, I actually don't know where it is, but I know it's close to uh, Jesper Hus. And I don't remember wh where Jesper Hus is, but I remember when we were at camping there, it was close. <laughs> but we are going... And it's really fun, it's really fun. Then each year they make a new murder mystery and then it's the same family that lives in the castle and then there's always some visitors and yeah, it's really fun, it's really fun. And in when it's Halloween, the actors that goes around the castle playing the people live in the castle, they are now playing like zombies and creepy stuff and it's so scary. We only went once with this and I was so, so scared because you have to go in like the dungeons and there's oh it's so creepy and then there was this girl with like just like the um, is it from the ring there is this girl saying that weird noise and is like with the uh, white dress and the black hair she looked like her and just sat in the window and said weird noises oh it was so creepy oh okay never heard of it but then uh, then <laughs> no. uh, I'm just a bonero, not getting much out. <laughs> You're just a bonero. The others would think, what the heck is a bonero? <laughs> but yeah, it's called uh, Heuris. 
Heiri Slot. It's really fun. But I don't think a lot of people have heard from heard about it. We would have always known about it in our family and it's been almost like a what's it called? Like a thing you, we do each year. But then we haven't done it in a couple of years and now my stepdad is having his birthday and then they decided to take us there. So it will be very nice. I'm really excited. To go solve a murder mystery. It's usually really good, but uh, as I said, we haven't been in a couple of years, so maybe it's bad now. I don't know. I don't hope so. I don't think. It's really funny. Anyways. Sounds fun, though. It is. It's really fun. It's really funny. It's uh, And it is a bit creepy. I remember as a child, it was a bit creepy because there was these actors going around and people were dead. And usually people were dead, like, not creepy places. But sometimes there were people dead in the dungeons and then it will be ugh, creepy. I love that stuff and haunted locations too. I usually hate that stuff. <laughs> like also like uh, these, what's it called? Like escape rooms kind of things where you just go in and get scared. I think we're gonna lose this one. I don't know why I'm just not just giving up. But I'm usually like a really big... We're just giving up. We can't win this. Uh, not a big fan of those things and I get scared really really easy but this is really fun it is also because you have you get like a newspaper and anything everything and you have to play detective I think that's the part I think that's fun yeah sometimes it's dark you ain't seeing nothing there making navigations difficult and even more <laughs> yeah and then it's really creepy oh I hate that I hate that but here it's like daytime and it's light and <laughs> there's a lot of other people and yeah, but it's a, it's a pretty, pretty creepy, I think. Oh, we lost this one. That was annoying. We can just uh, try again. Join now. That music got such a nice start. Luckily, I have flashlights on my key. Oh, that's maybe I should uh, should bring that too, so I might use it there. Yeah, do that. You can also get those small key hangers with the Lego figures that have the light in the feet. <laughs> I have only been in one escape room. I hated it. My friends didn't understand shit. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I will be the one not understanding shit. <laughs> I sometimes I have played. Uh, escape rooms with my friends online and I'm so bad at it. I'm like the one going around and just looking at nice views and funny things because I don't understand shit what we are doing. I'm really not that good at connecting things like that. Or flash eyes, flash, flash, flashlight on your phone. Yeah, true, true. But my phone is really uh, old, so it doesn't... Um, what do you say in English? The battery time is really not great anymore so if I go around with my flashlight a whole day it's like I think uh, prob it will die and then oh, no I can't live without my phone <laughs> LMAO you are there for moral support yeah exactly exactly I'm there to bring good vibes and tell the others they're doing great and I think that's really important too that you Support the others that are doing the hard work. <laughs> oh, it's so hot in Denmark. Ugh. I'm going to die of the heat. Why are people leaving all the time? Ugh. Sometimes it's really hard to get in like one of these tournaments because there is no one that are joining. And then like this when we are waiting too long people will just go away. Yeah, so now we are ready to... Oh, is it a Mewtwo deck? If he made Mewtwo and Solar Rock and Lunatone, we're gonna die. I can I can say that now, because that is too strong. Okay, we both had a bad start. <laughs> what? Again? The first time I had to play with my Lilligan deck in real life, I made a Mulligan five times in a row. Five times. I have never done that. I have never seen one do that. I. It was crazy. Uh, how long you live today? I think 
for about two hours. Yeah, maybe. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't usually set like a time stamp, does it call that? But uh, tonight I'm going uh, home to my dogs and they, because they are at a friend's house, so I have to go uh, not too late because then they have been home alone for a long time and that will be sad. And I'm going early up to work tomorrow, so that's nice. We love that. Love work. <laughs> but I have this with me, I should own that. Alright, what kind of dog do you have? I have uh, two dogs actually. I have uh, from um, rescue dogs from uh, Bosnia. Bosnia, yeah, it's called that in English. Uh, so it's they're really, really sweet, both of them. They, uh, I ask many questions. I know it's okay, it's okay. You ask all the questions you want. Uh, but the I have the first we got um, is not a small dog, but a small lot dog. I think she is twelve kilograms or so um, and uh, and she her name is uh, Frida 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 I don't know in English but yeah <laughs> Frida uh, and uh, really really sweet uh, and then we got another one called Mimi uh, and she is also very sweet but a lot bigger and she looks like uh, like a uh, oh what is it called uh, Shiba uh, Shiba Inu, uh, and they are both so sweet. I love them. <laughs> they are my everything. It's like my children. <laughs> Frida and Mimi. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I can find some pictures uh, after this match if you would like to see them. They. I'm like a proud mom who just wants to show off my children. <laughs> Uh, I think you have many English-speaking viewers, because nearly every person in English-speaking has had a Pokemon phase during, uh, during childhood, and it might still be going on now, since some people don't grow out of Pokemon and never get too old for it. Yeah, I think you're right, I think you're right, and I know uh, on my Instagram, there is over half of my followers is English or not Danish-speaking, so... Uh, it's nice. I actually, uh, that's a bit of a fun fact. I actually never collected Pokemon as a child. I didn't uh, own anything Pokemon. I didn't know anything Pokemon. I think I knew it existed, but I didn't knew anymore. There was not Pokemon on my school. There was, or in my class, we there were, weren't any who collected it. So uh, I just started collected as a grown up so I think that's that's a bit fun uh, I have one American ruddy pit pit I'll mix one German ruddy and I'm getting one more German ruddy this week a German ruddy I don't know I what the I will oh maybe we should play first and I can just dog parents Pokemon was huge over here yeah it was also in in Denmark so it's weird it was not like a thing in my class because I'm from uh, uh, how old am I? I'm 23. <laughs> so like in my age, there was a lot of people on my age that collected as a child. So I don't know why it wasn't on my school. I just, there wasn't any who cared for it on my school. That's, uh, I think it's, it's a little bit fun. Uh, oh, just, uh, okay. Oh, that's nice. I love that dog. It's, it's really, really sweet. Yeah. So you will have three dogs. Oh, that's the dream. Oh, you said on in an Instagram post where I found this dream from that your boyfriend introduced you to Pokemon. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He collected as a child and then uh, introduced me, and then I was just hooked from the beginning. I think it's so fun. I and I didn't play. Uh, that was just later, but I think it was. Yay, we won. Um. But I think it was so fun to like open the cards and all of the Pokemons were so sweet and then I just fell in love with so many of them and yeah, I love it, I love it. Uh, you said, I don't play Pokemon but I love when people play different games than all the normal boring stuff. I actually don't know what people usually play. I was going on Twitch the other day because I was bored and want to, uh, wanted to watch people play and a lot of people was playing Fortnite and... 
yeah, I, I have played Fortnite, but I'm not that huge of a fan of Fortnite. So yeah, love your art. Put, uh, put English tag as well. Oh, thank you. I don't know how to do that. I actually tried to uh, put more text, but I it wouldn't let me. Maybe I can uh, do it here. Uh, maybe I can just... Uh, because it won't it won't let me then it will just make England like the land so I think it's it's super weird I can't I can't <laughs> make any more text it's so weird I can only have one text and the other text I can found find is like really weird text so it it I don't, I don't get it. Maybe I'm just bad at it. Congrats, your boyfriend has good taste. <laughs> taste in a Pokemon or... <laughs> but yeah, it was... I'm really happy to be introduced to it. I feel like we have collected in... Or I have collected in like... Almost two years, I think now. And it's been the most fun I ever had. It's like... It's like the... It was what I was looking for. I know it sounds so cheesy, but it it's ever since I found Pokemon, I have been so much more happy and I made so mon many friends. And yeah, it's just, it's so nice. I love it. I love it. I play Warzone on PS4 or Hearthstone on the phone. Yeah, okay. That's nice. I haven't played either, <laughs> but uh, I play a lot of different things actually. So I just, I don't know why I try to only play Pokemon because I play a lot of different th things, but I'm also very bad at a lot of different things. <laughs> In primary elementary school, Pokemon cards almost got banned since multiple multiple guys started physical fighting over a Charizard card because of an unfair trade. No, <laughs> that's crazy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> fighting over a Charizard? That's crazy. Frick, yeah, throw down against unfair trades. Yeah, you don't have to do that, but fighting. And I remember this girl had a giant flag on shiny card and everyone was crowding her. Oh my god, that's insane. I know a lot of schools in Denmark uh, now have banned Pokemon cards in schools because I actually don't know why. It's The reasons are very weak, I think. Some of them is like, uh, some people have uh, fake cards, so uh, therefore we are just banning them. Instead of like learning how to know the difference and then don't bring fake cards to trade with but they're just like no 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 we don't want you to do that <laughs> no pokemon cards in the school hardy yeah the hardy i have read flere på facebook der har sagt at uh, at de uh, der skole må de ikke have pokemon kort med mere overhovedet de må ikke gøre det i frikvarter de må ikke gøre det på noget tidspunkt fordi at det er sådan noget der er fake kort og så bliver folk uvenner og sådan noget that was after i finished school then yes i saw it on Facebook like half a year ago or so. So I think it's just some schools. I think it's annoying. I can't uh, text I often deal to tell you. But how can I not? Uh, do any of you guys know why I can't? Uh, maybe if I do this, can I then? No. No, no, no. Do any of you guys know how I can add text so I can add English? Because maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> Which is also a long time ago. I'm old. <laughs> dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I said I didn't collect Pokemon when I went to school, so I didn't know. Few people in the fight got bruised and nosebleeds with is what made my school wanted to almost ban Pokemon cards. Yeah, that makes sense because... <laughs> That's crazy. That's really, really crazy. That is really insane, I think. <laughs> oh, I could uh, find uh, some pictures of my dogs. But uh, that is... Uh, I think it's, it's a bit like weak of the schools not to like educate themselves and the children or to how make good trades and stuff like that and they're just saying mm, not our problem i know it's not like their problem but i know some schools that have like set one of the teachers to be the specialist and then the people would oh and uh thank you for the follow uh stop 
else Melopa Aversion. <laughs> I'm so bad at seeing what people are following. I need a, like a sound when they it's happening because I usually see it like this is six minutes ago. Oh, I'm so bad. But yeah, I think I know some schools are making a Pokemon uh, yeah, professor <laughs> and then they have to educate the children on how to uh, spot fake cards and stuff like that. So I think that's really awesome. Dogs, yeah, you can see my dogs. Uh, it's here. I have a uh, Instagram dedicated to uh, <laughs> to my dogs, but I don't post there very often. They are so crazy, and you see, it's just like funny pictures. But this is uh, Frida, Frida, the first dog I got. She is so sweet. She is so sweet. And this is Frida, Frida and Mimi, and they really have like a sister love hate relationship. Like, they will fight all the time, but they love each other. And this is how uh, Mimi sleeps, usually. Uh, yeah, she is um, really crazy, but she is so pretty. I really think she is pretty, and they are both so sweet. And this was when we had the staircase in the old home. Then she laid on the floor. It was so sweet. She is... Uh, and here she is just outside the window. She loved to drive the car. Uh, when I'm normally streaming, it's actually uh, really different. Um, I wish I had a plan that says I'm streaming this and this day, but because my work times and my life is so like different from week to week, I can't do that. So I will, um, what do you say, post on my Instagram story when I know I'm streaming and then it will be there. But yeah, I'm really, really, really bad at... I, I really want to have like a strict schedule, but I can't do that right now, so unfortunately. And this was when I had fish, but I don't anymore because they are all dead. <laughs> I'm not that good. Oh, and this was so pretty. It was really pretty, but yeah, she is so sweet. Look at her. I love them so much. I love them so much. And <laughs> look how ugly she is. <laughs> oh, she almost, almost, all time lays when she lays on the back she has her mouth like this it's and she looks like uh, i have a picture where she looks like dobby from uh, harry potter it's really like this <laughs> tell me this doesn't look like dobby from harry potter <laughs> two papas yes yeah, super cute yeah they are so cute i mean that cherry card almost got traded for a basic pokemon card not a stage one or two what what that's what made the fair made the trade unfair yeah that's that makes sense, that makes sense. The Oh, just in time, that makes sense. Uh, catch you next time, have a good night. It's time for me to focus. I still got seven to eight more hours to go at work. Yeah, thank you for popping in. I think usually it will be at the morning I stream, so you can watch it. But yeah, have a great work day and I see you next time. I understand I'm gonna go smoke a joint with a friend. Have a blessed day, everyone. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. We will just uh, stay here and win this tournament this time. <laughs> She really does look like Dobby. Yeah, she does. She does. She, uh, we are a bit sad we didn't call her Dobby because she just is Dobby. I mean, it's a do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's Friday, but she looks like Dobby. It's really fun. They're both so weird. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yes. Oh, three times. That's a lot. Let's go. What do we think? He's playing lightning and water. Maybe a Raichu. But the thing is, they were kids. Kids don't know how to control their emotions well and lose their temper easily. But I was a kid when it happened. Yeah, and that's true. That's true. That's why I think it's important for, like, have a teacher or something to know stuff and then help guide the kids because, as you say, they don't... Usually they don't know and usually they don't if they found out, they can't, like, control their emotions. So it's it's sad that it's it has to be like that. But, yeah, I think it will be great if every school just had, like, a Pokemon professor. If there's any schools out there, you can just hit me up. I would love to be a Pokemon professor as my work. <laughs> Kids are psychopaths before they reach the age of seven. True facts, they got psychopath traits before then. Yeah. I mean, it, it's actually true. It's actually true. They think like psychopaths sometimes. It's 
but they had to learn it. But yeah, that's why I won't have kids, so um, I won't have a psychopath running in my house, ruining my Pokemon cards. I will have all my Charizard cards by myself. <laughs> but I love kids, but yeah. Not always, not all the time. I worked in a toy store, so that was a lot. <laughs> Heck yeah, Burnefree Klubben, let's go. Yes, exactly, exactly. I should not have that. I don't want to. It's like, ugh, no, no, it's too tiring. I don't want to. Mm. Should we get this and then just get our bench full? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And also, if you get children, you don't have that much money to buy Pokemons. <laughs> and that will be a shame. Uh, yes. Lululu. Oh, he had opened the... The... What? The boxes, they were so pretty. Oh, that was some of the most pretty boxes Pokemon has ever made. And I'm so mad I haven't bought one or two or three <laughs> to have sealed because I think they are so pretty. But I bought one of each and then I opened them up. Same, I have zero patience with kids. I don't know how to interact with them. No money, no freedom, no sleep. It will be no prayer, no, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, I love kids, actually. I, I, I really love kids. I love playing with them and talking with them. And yeah, but I... And my sister is getting a child, like, now. <laughs> she can call at any moment and then she are pooping out a child. But I just don't want one by myself. I'm excited to be an ant, but yeah, yeah. Aunt, ant, a ant, it's like the like the small black things. When I was still in primary elementary, this kid from the younger years used to harass me all the time for a Pokemon card trade, but I didn't like what he was giving me, which was a cry to Crytoon, which I don't like since it has a very low attack damage for a stage 1 Pokemon that can't evolve no more, then he would keep going to me, showing it. That sounds so annoying. And that was so annoying. Ugh! Why did you have to do that? We will just get your supple out. And then we will get this out and then we will cry because we can't do anything else. But that sounds so annoying. I mean, when I hear that, it's like I'm happy that we didn't have Pokemon in my class, but yeah. Because if it was like this, then it would not be fun. Sad. He has all the blinks, like look at his stick. This is crazy. And look at mine, it's <laughs> not that pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, and if anyone is watching out there, I had just started watching Stranger Things. And I'm obsessed. I have never watched it before. But then I, my TikTok is full of Stranger Things videos. So I was like, okay, now I have to. And I did. And I'm finished season two. So I'm obsessed. Why is it such a good show? I mean, oh, 
that's oof. Yeah. Oh, girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. And I'm so excited to like see the other, other seasons because I have heard they are like insane. Uh, I also was desperate for an Eevee since I had no Eevee card and I had an Umbrian card and a Flareon card which I can't use in game since I don't have the previous evolution. Oh, and was this kid like trying to also give you an Eevee card? I feel like an Eevee card wouldn't be that bad. I love Eevee. <laughs> but yeah, I think it depends also. If you wanted, that's what I hear people say when they were children and had to trade Pokemon cards because it the people didn't know that what value some cards could hold the day to day, so they were like just exchanging if they wanted the card and not if thank you and not if like the card was special or anything. But people were like more yeah I don't know what you say but they were like. If they wanted a card, they will just get that card and didn't consider how much value it will have. And I I think that's a bit sad that we don't have that much today. It's more like value, value, price, price, value, value. So it will look again. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh, yeah. So I think it's, it's, I wanted to try to collect in when I was a child, because I feel like it would be not so nerve-breaking at some times. I remember trying to watch St Stranger Things when it first came out. I was not caught by it at first. It was first some weeks ago that I also began seeing clips and stuff everywhere that I decided to try again. Be binge all of it from season 1 to 3 within some days, then watch season 4 with my roomie. Yeah, I uh, started Three days ago, I think. Two or three days ago. So I also watched like two seasons in a couple of days. And I love it. I love it so much. It's like, oh, I'm getting so stressed by it. And all the Nancy, Steve, Jonathan drama, I can't take it. It's like, oh, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. And we lost. I am. Uh, what team are you guys on? Are you on team Steve or team Jonathan? Because I'm like, I haven't seen the last two seasons, so I think I cannot, like, say fully which team I own, but, but Steve really has my heart. Oh, Stranger Thing is the reason why teens of this generation are obsessed with 80s music that their parents will listen to when they were their, their age. Yeah, and I think that's awesome that we can, like, they can take something that is, I will not say old, because it's not old and, and give it life again. Because some 80s music is really, really good. And I love that they are not making new music to like fit this theme. But they are just taking music from the 80s and put it in. I think that's it's awesome. Yeah, thank you that freaking drama with those three men. Yeah, I'm like, oh. And I saw a TikTok where they say that it will continue. That they hope they will get something worked out in season five and i'm like no 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 they have to figure something out before because i'm getting stressed stranger things and cobra kai are netflix teen dramas which are keeping the 80s music alive that's awesome i don't know what uh, the other one is cobra kai but maybe i have to watch that too i'm not that uh, i am teed edc yeah i'm edc <laughs> I think Eddie C is that uh, that's uh, Chrissy and Eddie. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but we love Eddie. I really, really, really do. Oh my God, no! Give me something I can use. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up! Uh, Str Stranger Thing is set in the 1980s, so obviously they use 80s music to su suit the scene. Suit suit the scene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I mean, like they are not making a new 
song that just had like the vibe of 80s song. They are taking literally music from the 80s and I think that's it. That's nice. Chrissy and Eddie for life. Chrissy, wake up! <laughs> yeah, I heard they're really cute. I'm excited to see it. And Palgia deck sucks! <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the follow. Again, I'm really bad at seeing it's two minutes ago, but thank you so much. I love your name <laughs> because I agree. I agree. I agree so much. It could look like we are losing this one because what's happening? We are not getting anything. Remember the song running up the hill that goes like, if only I could, I make a good deal with God. Yeah, I, it's the one that's going super viral on uh, on TikTok, right? I don't like this, Christy, wake up! I love it. I love him so much. I am so excited to see him in in the show. Uh, maybe we'll just get so good, then we can get him up and running. Uh, Christy, wake up! I don't like this. Christy, wake up! Hey, hello! <laughs> But yeah, between Steve and Jonathan, I definitely prefer Steve. I think Jonathan is so boring. Yeah, and I mean, like, he started stalking her. He started, like, taking pictures of her. It's so weird. I'm, oh, I can't have it. And I think, yeah, he has some troubles. And I think they are a good match in some ways. But I don't know. I just think Steve is so sweet and he really deserves her. I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. Why couldn't they make him like a bad guy so we could say, yeah, uh, you deserve don't does, don't to have her. Uh, but oh, he really do. He really do. I hope they are finding someone in season five to give him his happy ending. Stranger Things is right running up the hill is viral even if that was forgotten hit from the 90s. Yeah, I actually don't think I ever heard that song before it went uh, viral. So that's really awesome, I think. But it's weird that I haven't heard it because I have heard a lot of 80s music. But I don't think I ever heard that. So that's weird. But it's a good song. So so far, season 3 and... Ugh. Season 3 and 4 are the best ones in my opinion. Season 4 with Eddie alone makes it superior. Steve, Steve is a precious bean. Yeah, I'm so excited to uh, see season 4. Maybe I should just skip season 3 and go to season 4. No, no. But I think Eddie is great. So we love that. And Steve is precious. Yeah, it's annoying. And I talked with my sister about it and who just said, if you think he's uh, sweet now, just wait because he is getting better. And I'm just, no, couldn't he just get like bad so we can leave him alone but no he has to suffer watching his ex-girlfriend thing just fall in love with someone else oh it's so sad i think it's so sad but yeah that's how life is i guess chrissy wake up lots of people on twitch unexpectedly think my username is cool Hockage Cherry Start 23. <laughs> it is cool. It is cool. I think it. people have some very funny usernames sometimes. Yes, please give us something we can use. Oh my god. Maybe we are losing this one because we just don't. Why did I do that? Didn't it have like... Oh, that was so stupid of me. Yeah, we just um, forget that I made that stupid choice. But yeah, it's okay. But yet, some people have really funny usernames. I like yours too. It's uh, but I really love Palkia Dick sucks. <laughs> and my latest follower button thing on my stream don't work. Still, I'm so bad at this. It's annoying. It's like <laughs> embarrassing. I can't. Uh, I can't like. Add more tags, and I can't make my latest follower work. It worked. And then it just stops working, so I don't know why. I think it's weird, but yeah. Okay, now we can get Lilligant up and running. Why can't I add energy? That's so annoying. Ugh. And take that. Maybe we have a chance. Maybe we are lucky enough to get a chance. If we just get a boss or something, we can get the Mew up. 
og he can take me up. Øh... That's annoying. This attack damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponents. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, rack, paper, say, us rack. We, we will take rack. No! Paper! Oh. Use Lily ability. Hello, and I have used that already, so. Yeah. Or maybe I haven't. I haven't gotten a Lilligant V star yet, so we can do it now. But we had such a bad start. I don't know if you saw it from the beginning, but. Yeah. It's just now we got a uh, Lilligant down, so. Uh, it's. Uh, but I think we can win now. Maybe. I'm so bad at raining, I should just say, but it's not raining, it's, it's, oh, I'm so, uh, <laughs> so bad at English. And then we will get, uh, because my username mixes two of a lot of people's favorite things, Naruto and Pokemon. Oh, so, Hockage Huck is from Naruto. I have never seen that. Oh, I have never uh, seen that. Thank you, thank you. But, uh, I think I should do. I really starting to want to see a lot of anime. I have never seen some. I have seen a little bit of the Pokemon series, but that's it. But I want to. Hello again. I'm too lazy to get out. <laughs> Hello again. So you're just laying in your bed or what? <laughs> Didn't you have to meet up with a friend or something? Did you just uh, ghost him or her or them? Ghosting is the new thing. Oh, anime. Yeah, I really want to uh, to see some. But I think it's like hard because I get a vibe that you can see it in English. So if I have to see it, I have to like sit there and read the subtitles because I don't understand uh, any other language. So yeah, I don't know. I Maybe I should just uh, take the time to do it. Uh, Pokemon is an anime though. It's from Japan. How do you say that in English? Japan? Japan? But modified a lot by Americans to make it more Western. Like, yeah, I heard that. But yeah, I watched the. Maybe the whole first season? Or almost the whole first season. But yeah, I think that is the most. Like. Why didn't I use this? Oh my god. I think that is the most. Uh, most anime thing I have seen. Uh, you can watch the English dub if you want. Isn't that the... I won't get banned from the anime community then. If I do that. <laughs> was impossible to lose that game. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. But uh, I think sometimes... I have been really, really unlucky tonight. I feel like I draw so bad. So it can happen. It can happen. I called him that I'm not in the mood to ride my bike halfway through time town today. <laughs> Yeah, understand, understand. Uh, let's get the root out. Uh, no, that's mine. Then we will just say uh, done. It is great weather, so uh, a bike ride would not be bad. I have my bike also, but it's... What's it called? It's like... There's no air in the in the tiles. No tiles. Ti ti I don't know the word. The wheels. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, not at all. Unless you watch the old 4 kids dubs from the 90s. Those were oh god awful. A bunch of them have been redubbed years after. With proper actor script etc. Et and not censored. <laughs> to hell and back. <laughs> yeah, okay, then maybe I could do that. Make it be I could do that. I just didn't want to uh, to be bullied out of the community because I watch with the uh, <laughs> English. And I know I I'm like um what we will get her ready. I'm I cannot just watch and sit still and watch a series. I have to like do something while I'm doing it. So I have to play a game or sit with my phone or something else or else I cannot concentrate. 
Uh, in one episode in Indigo League Pokemon, OG Pokemon series, when Brock was eating an onigiri rice ball and sushi in a picnic, it was changed to sandwiches in the American version. What? Why? Because he ate like a Magikarp or something. That's so weird. I think we are losing this. I really think we are losing this. <laughs> yeah, we can use this. I have been uh, to my nephew's birthday today, so I'm used if you... I ha Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. So you... Oh no, I have to... Ah, I pressed the wrong button! Yeah, but I understand. Then sometimes if you have been away the whole day, you just want to lay down and relax. Lots of people watch dubs nowadays, so you're good. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'm fine, then I'm... Uh, maybe I will do it, maybe I will do it. Now I have to uh, finish uh, Stranger Things. Pokemon has been so westernized at this point, since the version with the sandwiches is more watched than the version with sushi. That's insane, actually. I think it's weird they have to, like, censor it all. It's also some of the cards that have been uh, been banned. It's like, why are they banning this? It's like, it doesn't make any sense. And that talks about the uh, Gengar uh, character rare card won't make it into the English shit because she is smoking and they are standing with a knife. And I'm like, oh, nothing on a Pokemon card will make kids go out and smoke. I don't think so. I'm not an expert, but I don't think so. Annoying, but yeah. Any idea what anime you want to try and watch? No. I think maybe I just want to uh, to watch some of the what do you say the classics. So uh, the ones everyone has seen. But I don't know. I don't know. If you have anything you can recommend, please please say so I know where to start. <laughs> How long have you been streaming for? Or I mean, uh, oh, a year or a month? Or yeah, uh, I have been. That's actually a really good question. I streamed when I started my YouTube channel when was in January, January, January. <laughs> the first month of the year. <laughs> um. Yeah, because I got all the equipment in a uh, Christmas gift. So I started streaming there and making YouTube videos. So it was about the same time. And then I actually didn't stream on Twitch for a long, long time. I streamed on YouTube instead. But I think it's funnier to stream on Twitch. I don't know why I don't. So I think I have a plan when, when I stream games and I play, it's on Twitch, but if I make a box break or something like that, it's on YouTube. But I haven't done that in quite a time. Girl, I got loads to recommend. You can just, uh, you can just uh, text me on Instagram, then we can uh, talk about it when I'm finished streaming. Then you can... Uh, oh, there's uh, something there, classic anime like Yu Yu... Hakusho Neon, Neon Genesis Evangelion Pokemon in Nui Asia One Piece and I have no idea what any of those are. Yo, oh, oh, Pokemon, I know. But I don't know any of them. But yeah, I guess some of the like, some of, the, I know I have heard of the one called Death Note. And then there is a Sailor Moon also, I think. Uh, and And then... I think like uh, Naruto and all of those I have to watch also, but like these are the one I see people are most hyped about. I think I don't know. Depends on what genres you might be into. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love. I'm really basic when it comes to shows. I like a good uh, romantic comedy, like something. Yeah, like that. Something I just can relax to. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, so it's not been a, such a long time, but I'm almost at the affiliated, which is which is really cool. Now I just struggle with uh, playing. I have to play seven days in a month, and that has been really hard because my previous job I worked really long hours, uh, 
and didn't have so many days off, but now I work uh, not so many hours and I have some more free days, so maybe I can make something work now. I hope so, so I can get to affiliate it. I think that will be so cool. Uh, Death Note is a good starter anime for people with analytical minds and people who are into mystery detective crime anime. Yeah, maybe I am that basic bitch. Yeah, that's me. That's me. I'm a basic bitch. Maybe I'm at, I'm I'm dead. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm into, but I know people are like hyped about it, so I guess I should make give it the change. One Piece is so good. I have followed the manga I, ever since it was released. It has become the third best comic in the world ever, not manga comic. That's insane. Only beaten by Superman and Batman for now. Oh, that's insane then. Then it must be really good. And is Batman and Superman the best? That's crazy. I didn't know that. I feel like there are some of them... <laughs> Don't hate me now, but I think there are some of the more boring uh, superheroes out there. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, maybe I should uh, watch Death Note then. Maybe that will be my first anime to watch. <laughs> I will give it a chance. <laughs> Well, best selling, it has earned the most. Yeah, yeah, but same, same, I guess. Mm. But that's insane. So, One Piece. Maybe I should watch that then. Oh, this is so annoying. Why don't I get anything? We can get this. Oh no, I could... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I could take the V-star and then we could get a lot of energies and stuff. But yeah, no, I uh, didn't want to do that because... Maybe it's just because I'm a basic bitch, so... <laughs> this is so good. I don't know if you guys have tried this one, but it's my favorite. I think it's... Oh, I'm in love. It tastes so good. Oh... I love it, I love it. Most people say One Piece anime is long. It's about thousand plus episodes. But I'm quite hooked into the anime, meaning I don't care about the length. Yeah, I guess that's 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 true. I don't know, that's a lo lot of episodes. I don't know if I ever could... How long are the episodes? Because if they're like 10 minutes or so, it's it's fine. Only thing about One Piece is that it's long. It's so sad seeing a lot of new folks get scared of even trying to watch it just because of its length. Yeah, that's me. I'm new folks. I'm I'm the new folks getting scared. <laughs> it's like, it's very, very long. It's still ongoing. Monster Mango, or what it is. It's Mango Loco. Mango Loco Monster. And it's sugar free. And it's so good. I could die. It's like I'm so uh, addicted to it now. There are about 1050 manga chapters and 1000 plus episodes right now. The episodes are just about 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes is fine. It's fine. Maybe I should uh, give it a go. It has been running since 1997. That's insane. It has been going on before I was born. That's wild. Should we do this? Then we can just do this, get the root out, and then we can profess a research. Still releasing chapter and episode once a week. That's wild that it is so long. Why don't we get... Oh, we have... Never mind then. We have put energy on for this turn. But that's insane. An episode once a week. I think that's wild. Ooh. But 20 minutes. That's like insane time I have to use on that. <laughs> Guess. Uh, oh, it is pretty lit. I'm just trying to stay away from energy drinks and drink juice instead. Yeah, I. it's not so good. I have started drinking it because I'm 
once I was really uh, really hooked on energy drinks, I was really, really, really addicted. Oh, I just have to wait and think and then they gave up. Amazing. So I haven't drink energy energy drinks in like a lot of years and then I tried this one and now I'm really hooked. Guess Oda wants six figure moves, so he's obviously still continuing One Piece. Oda Mangaka of One Piece. Aichiro Oda is manga manga Mangaka of One Piece. Is that what you call the the one who's making the the manga or But yeah, I guess it's nice to get money. Oh, we can buy a pack. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, nice, nice. What should we open? What should we open? We can open anything. What do you guys want to uh, buy? We can open. Do, do, do. The oldest, it's hard gold, soul silver. But we can also open some of the new stuff. Oh, why did I heart this? Um. Mangaka are the Japanese term for the authors, illustrators of a manga. Oh, that's an awesome. Mangaka, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The storytelling and character development is just insane. The world building is crazy. So detailed, well written and created. It knows when to be funny, but also be super emotional and awesome. Knowing when to slow down and flesh out of out a character. Even the most insignificant character is deeply developed. That's ins that's really awesome. Maybe I should do it. Maybe I'm getting really hooked on it. I think I will do it. I will do it. I'm watching One Piece. One Piece is... Oh, maybe it's... Is it a good one to start with? Or should I start with another one? Open something with glitter. Yeah, I wish. But... Where? We can't even... All the holidays sit. And that's really annoying. Because I want to make a Mewtwo V-Star deck. But you can't buy holiday sets in here. So I can't buy a uh, Mewtwo V-Star. I have to redeem codes. And because I'm opening mostly everything up on my YouTube, people will get the codes. So oh, it's so annoying. Uh, it has made me cry on several occasions. And I'm not the type that cry easily. Oh, okay. That's insane. Maybe I should do it. Mm. We can open, like, you can get the... Radiance cards in this, so maybe we should open that. One Piece has the best world structure in my opinion, since the length means it's been able to do, to be shown more. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should try it. Try to start with One Piece. Okay, should we try, try Astral Radiance? One Piece is perfectly fine to start with. It's not super complicated or hard to follow or anything. Okay, maybe it will be that one I will start with then. Ugh. Maybe it will be that one. Okay, should we? We will open Astral Radiance. I think I have some more cards in here we can open. Yes, let's see what we are getting. Doo -doo 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 -doo. See if we will get. Ooh, a new one. Ooh, a new one. Nice. Oda has put a lot of time and work into making the world of One Piece very realistic and believable. That's awesome. Oh, we got a heavy ball. Oh, and a Hedion Arcanine. Nice. I actually want the heavy ball in my deck, so that's pretty awesome. We just got that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can get some. Uh, I feel like I'm more unlucky online than I am in real life. See, we don't get anything. I mean, it's oh annoying. I want to get some pools. Ooh, berry. Nice. Then we can just. Oh, I didn't push the right button. Let's go. I love animes with eye-catching fight scenes, which best fight scenes in anime would go to Dragon Ball, uh, Naruto, Yujutsu Kaisen, and God of High School. 
I haven't heard of the last two. But of course I have heard about Dragon Ball and Naruto. I think I have to see those two also, but maybe I should also remember the two others. <laughs> there are so many, it's it's hard to navigate uh, what to start with and what to watch and so, but uh, it's great I can get some help. <laughs> Oh, the gold Arcanine box. That's nice. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's annoying. No. Then we just press done. It's so cute. Minchino! It's so cute. We love Minchino. You know. Love it, love it, love it. I just realized a trend with fight scenes in anime. The animes that incorporate Taekwondo into their fight scenes have the best fight scenes. <laughs> but that's also... Awesome if they take something from real life and put into the animes, I think. Taekwondo. I actually uh, went to Yu Jitsu once I was a kid. I went three times, but then, uh, yeah, it was not something for me. <laughs> it, uh, I think it was, it was weird for me to, like, fight people. It, no. Uh... I like all kinds of anime, both the action adventures, the magical girls, sports anime, mystery, sci-fi, high school, slice of life. I'm a bit all over the place. I think that's awesome also, that you can watch everything. Mm. Let's go Flapple. It's so cute, this card. And then we can use Star Perfume. Oh no! Oh no! I really want this in real life. It's so pretty, this full art. Ah, oh, so rude. And we can do anything. Not anything. It looks like they are off to a bad start, I think. I think it's the same with movies. There isn't any genre I refuse to watch or doesn't like at all. Yeah, I feel the same. I'm not that much to like thrillers and horror movies because... Yeah, I can't sleep. <laughs> it's like I, it's, I'm getting so scared. I can't I can't sleep. It's... Oh, it's insane. But the... Uh, Yujitsu is mostly grappling, whistling, but Taekwondo is a lot of emphasis on high and jumping kicks that aim for your, the head or neck. Yeah, I think, I think maybe that was was that what that was what I didn't like about it. It was like this: you have to get really close to people and grab them, and yeah, I, it was not for me. It was not for me. I think Taekwondo is cooler. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hello. Hey, hey, hvorfor jeg siger du hello? Er der noget, jeg har glemt? Jeg sagde jeg lige før. <laughs> hello. Men hey, Jacobsen. <laughs> oh, well, except romance may be too predictable. Boy meets girls, they fall in love, something comes in between the love, but it all works out in the end, and they live happily ever after that. Yeah, true, true. And if it's a high school thing, you can sprinkle a little bit of... Uh, popular, popular boy versus uh, unpopular girl and yeah she gets pretty because she doesn't wear glasses anymore and she gets the new hairstyle and yeah I did bad danglish danglish yeah that's me that's me the bio I know it well I know it well my English can't be so good don't mob me okay don't mob me oh man if you Bilmik. Bilmik. Vinder du? Selvfølgelig gør jeg det. 
Ej, jeg tror faktisk godt, vi kunne gå hen og tabe den her. Så det er ikke så sejt. Jeg tror, det har været meget sådan 50-50, om vi har vundet eller tabt i aften. Jeg har virkelig haft en uheldig aften i aften. Nej, ikke så meget dig. Bare... Nej, ikke så meget dig. Bare, hallo, hallo, nå, okay. <laughs> Men mit engelsk er også meget danglish. Det er det altså. Det... Jeg ved det godt. <laughs> Hvorfor har din manefi? Hello. So true. The Kiki girl. Whoa. Uh, the Kiki girl likes the popular hot guy. She gets a makeover, aka no glasses, a ponytail, and suddenly she is the hottest girl in the school, and he falls for her. Bath. Yeah. Exactly. It's so tiring. I'm like, I love it. I love to watch. These kind of cheesy romantic comedies, but yeah, no, no, it's like uh, it's too predictable. I hate it. Spiller du kun online eller har du også spillet rigtigt? Jeg spiller også rigtigt i en øh, klub faktisk hver mandag. Øh, spiller jeg i virkeligheden, øh, men øh, lige nu der spiller jeg bare øh, lige nu spiller jeg bare online. Jeg spiller rigtig meget online. Uh, with One Piece fight scenes, there is a vari variety of martial arts used, and each character has a different fighting style. Sanji Windsmoke, the cook of the straw hat pirates, uses... The cook of the straw hat pirates? Is that a person? The cook of the straw hat pirates? <laughs> that sounds funny. Uses a lot of Taekwondo due to him using Merly kicks and lists. Of grappling and punching. Punches Zoro even has his own style using 3-9 katanas altogether. I gotta be honest, I didn't understand so much uh, of what you were just um, writing, but I guess I will once I uh, watch One Piece. <laughs> so could you be with Evolution's pack stream? No, are you lige Have you been in to see it? It was actually quite funny. It was because it's mega strange. I have. Uha, ej, undskyld. Det er jo det brus, der er. Jeg har tid til at streame selv. Og så havde jeg tid i aften, og så du ved, tænkte jeg, ej, så skal jeg streame der. Og så, efter jeg havde sådan sagt, at nu skulle jeg streame, så så jeg, at det var i aften, de skulle streame. Og så tænkte jeg, åh, hovsa. <laughs> det havde jeg ikke lige øh, opfakket. Men øh, var du inde og se, der blev der trykket noget sindssygt? Ej, de var ikke stadig øh, allerede færdige, er de det? Nami's an expert with the bow staff weapon, so her fighting style will be... Bujutsu, there is so many different uh, styles of fighting. I didn't know there was so many different. Nu når du selv stod i mig, ja præcis. Jeg samler kun på Pokemon kort, har en masse kodekort til TSG online, men fedt du spiller rigtigt. Ja, spiller du det så også online, eller hvad? Og ja, det er mega fedt at spille det i virkeligheden. Det er meget anderledes end at spille det online, fordi online tænker computeren så lidt for dig. Men uh, det er virkelig, virkelig sjovt at spille. Også bare så du spiller mod nogen fysisk, det er virkelig hyggeligt. Jeg elsker det. Uh, så so, lige lidt med noget, ikke lige at få nogle Brilliant Stars pakker, så hoppet bare lige herind, og hvor hyggeligt, det er jeg da glad for. Det er jeg da glad for, jeg håber også snart, at jeg, uh, sige så snart, at jeg får muligheden for at købe nogle pakker et sted, så jeg kan lave noget uh, box break igen, så kommer det. Så jeg håber, håber det bliver snart, jeg håber faktisk lidt i næste måned, men det kræver lige, at jeg finder noget, hvor det kan, hvor jeg faktisk også kan gøre det til en ordentlig pris. <laughs> The thing that to me makes One Piece superior to, for example, Dragon Ball is that every crew member of One Piece is essential to win a fight. In Dragon Ball, it always only comes down to the main character, Goku. Goku, with all the other characters just kind of being there, the One Piece crew works as a un unit and every member is important. It's not always Goku saves the day again. That's awesome. I really like that. I really like that because I think some shows it's like they can only win if they have the 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 best one and i guess it's it's a little boring i think because you can predict what will what will happening so that's really awesome that's really awesome shows the importance of teamwork basically yeah exactly exactly i spiller ikke vil gerne lære det igen uh, igen spille det da det kom ud i gang den gang nå så skal du da bare i gang med at spille det online det er i hvert fald mega sjovt at spille det online Øh, jeg spiller det virkelig meget selv online, og det er virkelig en god måde sådan at lære det på, så det synes jeg helt klart, du skal gøre. Også fordi, når du starter med at spille det online, så, øh, 
starter den med at give dig nogle, øh, nogle decks og sådan noget, så du ligesom kan komme i gang. Så det er også ret fedt. Øh, kan du lade der Pokémon Go, hvor de kostede 60 kroner pakken, men ja, det er også nye pakker, og så lige dagen før release. Ja, det er true, det er true. Jeg tror også, det der var, at han kunne godt tillade sig at tage det for pakkerne, fordi det nu var før release og sådan nogle ting. Men, men ja, altså det... Jeg vil gerne, altså jeg har da sådan, jeg behøver heller ikke engang at tjene noget, så længe at jeg sådan ikke mister penge på det faktisk, det har jeg ikke lige råd til, men jeg vil rigtig gerne snart lave noget på det igen, og jeg håber selvfølgelig, det skal jo heller ikke bare være hvad som helst, hvis jeg bare køber en pak, en box battle style, så det er ikke sikkert, at der er nogen, der gider at være med i det, så jeg håber lidt at kunne få noget Astral Radiance, jeg havde også lidt håbet på øh, Pokémon Go, men det er og mame en del ETB'er eller sådan noget, jeg skal købe, hvis det er, så skal jeg få en god pris et sted, men øh, det kan selvfølgelig også godt være, at jeg får det, det øh det kunne være, at man lige faldt over et godt tilbud et sted. Nej, men man skal da heller ikke gøre det gratis, for det er nogle timer, man bruger på det. Ja, ja, lige præcis. Altså man kan sige, at jeg synes, det er virkelig sjovt. Og jeg synes, det er virkelig sjovt at stream, og jeg synes, det er mega hyggeligt, det der med at åbne pakker for folk, og så skal sende dem og sådan noget. Så derfor vil det ikke gøre mig mega meget, hvis jeg ikke tjener på det. Det har jeg ikke gjort på de andre boxbreaks, jeg har lavet. Der har jeg ikke tjent noget på det. Men nu da jeg ikke rigtig sådan, har nogen, der skal gøre det sammen med som sådan, så øh, ja, gør det faktisk stadig ikke noget ikke at tjene noget på det. Så længe jeg ikke går ud med et minus, så er det faktisk fint. Ja. Jeg er faktisk øh, dæk in real life og søg på pokehallen på Facebook. De måske hjælpe dig med at finde et godt sted til at handle. Når med, øh, med Pokémon kort pokehallen, det skal jeg lige huske, pokehallen på Facebook. Er det sådan et sted, der sælger øh, Pokémon kort eller hvad? Lots of people in Nordic countries have good English. I've never met a Nordic person who can speak English well. Yeah, I think I guess that's true. We just have a a really Nordic accent, but I guess that's true. Also because we learn English from today, they are learning English like really, really, really early, uh, and I think that's really cool. It's it's amazing to have the ability to. Yes, to speak that well, and it's great that when you travel, you can speak with people because it's annoying to travel and then you can't have a like conversation with people. You can't order stuff or something like that because you can't speak another language. Nordic countries like Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Ja, de laver de der stream, du snakker om, men de har vist fundet et billigt sted at købe kort. Nå, ej, okay, det kan da godt være, at jeg lige skal holde øje med det. Altså, jeg er også sådan, fordi at, at det er jo sådan set lidt lige meget, hvad standen på, hvad skal man sige, boksen er. Så det kan også være, at jeg er heldig, at jeg falder over nogen, der sælger en billig boks, fordi at, at den har fået et hul eller sådan noget. Det er jo i princippet lige meget for mig, når det er, at, mm, når det er, at jeg... Ja, jeg bare skal åbne det, men det kunne da godt være, at de skulle prøve at holde øje med det. Pokehallen. Uh. Ej, jeg kan mærke, det er sådan helt varmt, så min pæn de klister sådan helt til, øh, til stolen. Ej, nej! Ej, Calyrex. Calyrex! Kom så, så rude. Det kan da være, at Epic Panda vil lave noget sammen med dig nu, når de laver noget med Pokewish. Altså, det kan sagtens være. Det kan sagtens være. Det kan også være nu, når de faktisk laver... Ej, jeg skulle ikke have lagt den på. Jeg skulle have lagt græsenergi på. Nå. At nu, når de laver med Pokewish, at øh, de ikke har sådan vildt meget interesse i at lave med mig. I don't know. Det er da værd at høre, hvis det endelig er i hvert fald. Det, men jeg ved, jeg er med i sådan... Epic Panda, de lavede jo sådan en, en hemmelig gruppe, hvor de sådan gav nogle speciale tilbud til, hvis man var hurtig nok til nogle gange kommer der nogle ret gode tilbud derinde, så det kunne godt være. Jeg har jo købt uh, tre Pokémon dæk for 400 kroner. Altså i alt eller uh, til sammen. Fordi hvis det sådan er et af de sådan gode dæks, altså for eksempel uh, Ørshifu dæksene, de kostede 400 kroner for dæk cirka, gør de stadig. Og det er et virkelig godt dæk. Det har jeg æder med mig også spillet meget. Det er det er et virkelig virkelig godt dæk. Så så. Pokémon Go-dæk 3 samlet. Åh, oh, de der! 
Jeg har faktisk godt overvejet, at man skulle prøve at, at fat i uh, mute-dækket der. Okay, it's exciting now to see who wins. Oh. Mewtwo og Melmetal Deck. Ja, det er den der, hvor de begge to er en. Var der pakker med i den egentlig? Jeg synes, jeg havde hørt noget med, at der var pakker øh, i dem nu. Also love about One Piece, how well thought out everything is. Something that seems small and insignificant in chapter 90 is suddenly mentioned and brought up of having importance in chapter 600. There are so many different throwbacks to things and characters that we have met earlier in the journey. That is amazing. I really love that. I really love that. I think it's it's amazing when they connect the show on that way. It's uh, It's really great. Ja, der var fire pakker. Okay, vildt nok egentlig. Øh... Øh... 4, 8, 12, 16... Hvor mange har vi taget? Vi har taget 5. 4, 8, 12... 16, 20, plus 60. Okay. Vi retreater. Nej. Now we are losing. Oh my god. He just... Just had enough. Oh no, because I had cricket tune. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot, I forgot. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. And we can get another V-star. Jeg er jo så gammel, jeg gik i skole, da Pokémon kom ud. Ja, altså det snakkede vi også om før øh, her på stream, at... Øh, at jeg faktisk ikke øh, samlede på Pokémon, da jeg var barn. Det var først øh, her, da jeg blev boksen, at jeg gjorde det. Der var slet ikke nogen, der samlede på Pokémon i min klasse. Det var mega underligt. God aften, god aften, velkommen til. Vi snakker nok sådan lidt halvt dansk, halvt engelsk, for jeg har nogen, der snakker engelsk i chatten, og nogen, der snakker dansk, så det er sådan lige lidt øh, danglish og lidt øh, forskelligt. <laughs> mm. Mm. And we're getting Applin in. Man samlede skida på Spice Girls og Backstreet Boys billeder. Ej, gider jeg gjorde, gider jeg gjorde, det gør jeg faktisk heller ikke. Der tror jeg, jeg er for ung. Jeg kan faktisk ikke engang huske, hvad, dengang jeg gik i skole. Det var sådan, jeg tror jeg gik i 5. klasse, 6. klasse, da Justin Bieber kom. Det var jo det hele store så. Regarding Nordics being good at English, it's because for one, no one speaks our languages outside our country, so we need to learn English when speaking to others outside our country. And two, we get fed English media constantly on TV and online. Everything that isn't for little kids gets subtitles, so we are used to hearing and seeing English all the time from an early age. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Uh, I... Uh, oh, this is annoying. This is really annoying. We are gonna lose now, I think. Uh, How much damage for each? Okay, it's the same. Uh, okay, and then we are hoping, wishing for a Gardenia Swigor. But yeah, I agree, I agree, I remember. Oh my fucking god, no! I remember uh, when we started learning English in, in school, I... We can't do anything. Oh, sorry. It was really easy for, mom, for me because I have watched so much English TV and videos and stuff like that. So I could speak and understand a little English uh, before going to school. So I think that's true. We have 
We are used to hearing and speaking the language a lot. Voksen, hvornår er man det? Ja, det ved jeg ikke. <laughs> jeg ved det ikke. Altså, ifølge, jeg har da voksen penge i hvert fald. Uh, to pakker, dem kan vi lige åbne med det samme. Men jeg tror aldrig, man bliver voksen. Heldigvis ikke. Jeg, tror, jeg, jeg gider ikke blive voksen. Det er simpelthen for kedeligt. Det er simpelthen for kedeligt. Jeg er 34, jeg føler mig ikke voksen. Nej, <laughs> lige præcis, lige præcis. Jeg tror aldrig, man bliver det. Åh, oh, jeg kan godt huske Spice Girls kort. Jeg havde nogen selv. 90's Kids, wow. Oh, det har jeg, jeg har aldrig haft Spice Girls kort. Altså, jeg har hørt virkelig meget Spice Girls, men jeg tror, det har været... Nu er jeg også 23. Nå, de, var ikke, de var ikke ind, da jeg var barn, desværre. Nemlig det samme alder her, jeg er helt enig <laughs> Spice Girls kort fra The hit, Big Hit i første klasse. Alle på hele min skole og strengene samlet på billeder. Det er sejt. Ej, gud jeg... Øh. Gud, vi gjorde det. Hogget Charizard, if you're still in the chat. Did you collect a Spice Girls? Oh, we got a history and summary. Did you collect Spice Girls or Backstreet Boys cards when you uh, went to school? Jeg fylder 31 næste uge, og jeg synes stadig, at jeg har brug for en voksen 90% af tiden. <laughs> True. Altså, jeg kan ikke passe på mig selv. Altså, hvis jeg er alene hjemme eller noget, jeg kan det ikke. Jeg kan det ikke. Det er uh, samlet på de billeder. Ej, det er vildt. Jeg havde plakater med Spice Girls. Spice Girls er altså også the shit. Uden tvivl. Elsker Spice Girls. Nå, lad os se her. Jeg sendte et brev til Spice Girls med hjælp fra vores babysitter. Ej, hvor det cute! <laughs> hvor det cute! Ej, det er virkelig cute. Får de lige sådan en fanbrev fra Danmark af. Ej, det er cute. Jeg er vild med det. Og, og... Jeg ved, jeg er så dårlig til det der med navnene herinde. Er det så I am Kehan? Tak fordi du begyndte at følge mig. Jeg er virkelig, virkelig dårlig til at lægge mærke til det. Jeg tror, jeg skal finde ud af, om jeg ikke kan få den til at sige sådan en lyd. Når det sker, fordi at jeg lægger ikke mærke til det. Og min den der latest follower virker heller ikke. Altså ham der Reds Cartel, han har fulgt mig i en måned nu. Og den ændrer sig ikke, og jeg har bøvlet så meget med det. <laughs> så der er ikke noget, der virker. Jeg er super dårlig til sådan noget teknik noget der. Men øh, og Bilmik. Den så jeg Bilmik. Den så jeg med det samme nu her. Tak fordi du begyndte at følge mig. Det er jeg mega glad for. Det er jeg mega glad for. Øh... Jeg vil ønske, at jeg vidste, hvad der stod i. Ej... Forstår du? skulle lige have taget en kopi og gemt eller sådan noget. Når man får et panic attack og leder efter en voksen til at hjælpe en, og man indser, at man er den voksne cry for jeg var ja, true, true. Når der er nogen, der kommer og spørger, har I en voksen? Og man er sådan, øh, ja, <laughs> mig, åbenbart. Uh, hader det. Hader det, hader det. Yes, det er det. Og poke, poke, kan på Instagram kommenteret et af dine billeder tidligere, så lige din story, du skulle streame. Pokekehan. Ej, der skal jeg da lige ind og se. Jeg er mega dårlig til at svare på kommentarerne. Jeg ved ikke, om jeg har svaret på den allerede. Det, jeg, er sådan, jeg kan godt gå flere dage nogle gange, så jeg er sådan, Nå gud, jeg skal også ind og svare på kommentarerne. Det, <laughs> det, så det, det, det er jeg ked af, hvis jeg ikke lige svarer mega hurtigt. Men jeg er mega glad for det i hvert fald. Men mega dejligt, at du lige så det. Jeg synes, det er, der er mega gang i chatten her til aften. Det er mega hyggeligt. Det er virkelig hyggeligt. Hvem er den bedste Spice Girl? Fight. Uh. Siden du kan huske Spice Girl, så må du være over 25. Altså, jeg er 23, men jeg tror, jeg har bare været rigtig glad for øh, ikke nutidig musik, hvis man kan sige det sådan. Så jeg har hørt rigtig meget 90'er musik. Jeg havde en periode, hvor det nærmest var det eneste, jeg hørte. Jeg, altså, I kunne spørge mig, hvem der blev spillet i radioen. Jeg anede det ikke. Øh, så, øh, så jeg tror simpelthen, det er derfor, at jeg, jeg har hørt så meget af det. Det øh, hørt mega meget 90'er rap og sådan noget, lige i starten af 0'erne rap, og ja, havde jeg lige en periode, hvor jeg bare ikke hørt nutidig musik. Anede ikke, hvad der skete i, øh, rundt om i verden. Øh, jo jo, det har du skam. Skulle du lige se, hvor du streamede henne? <laughs> Nå, okay, det var godt, det var godt. Men ja, jeg streamer på, hvis jeg spiller, øh, så streamer jeg på Twitch. Øh, generelt alting jeg spiller Så det er Twitch Og hvis jeg så åbner eller laver box break eller sådan noget, Så bliver det på YouTube øh, Så jeg prøver sådan at holde det sådan lidt opdelt Så Twitch det er sådan lidt mere hygge Nu streamer vi bare lige og YouTube er sådan lidt mere planlagt Hvis det giver mening Sporty Spice Jeg er altså også virkelig vild med Sporty Spice Jeg kan altså også virkelig godt lide Ginger Spice To be fair, ingen af os var i live da Elvis var Men vi ved stadig hvem han er Og hans musik True, 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 true 
True. Har I set, øh, er der nogen af jer, der har set den der Elvis film? Jeg har ikke, men jeg overvejer faktisk at se den. Sang som Doja Cat synger er fucking god i hvert fald. Øh, bedste sange var med Mel C, men sødest var Baby Spice, og pæneste var nok Mel B. Ja. Mel C, Mel B. Så meget tror jeg ikke lige, jeg ved, hvad du mener der. <laughs> Hvis jeg skal være ærlig, og det skal jeg jo. skal ikke bare sidde og sige ting, jeg er med at se at sporty. Okay, så er det simpelthen bare lige sådan en nickname for dem, eller hvad? Måske. <laughs> så meget, jeg hørte bare musikken, <laughs> så jeg kan synge med, det er det vigtigste. <laughs> Hallo. Hallo. Jeg vil faktisk rigtig gerne se den, men min roomie er ikke interesseret, så ved jeg ikke, om jeg lige gider at gå ind og se den selv. Nej, true. True. Jeg er sådan lidt spændt på, hvordan de sådan portrætterer det, fordi at i, i titelsangen, som hun synger, der lægger det jo meget op til det der med, at han sådan stjal fra andre kunstnere og sådan noget. Øh, men jeg føler ikke, at jeg har hørt nogen snak om det i forhold til, øh, om filmen faktisk også handler om det. Og jeg synes, det er sådan lidt random, hvis sangen gør, men selve filmen ikke gør, men ja... Mel B er den mørke, altså hvordan skal man sige det, uden at krænke nogen her, ja, okay. Ja, jeg tror, det er fint, det er fint sagt, sådan. Det er deres rigtige navne. Ah, okay. På den måde. Ja, jeg ved så ikke, hvad deres rigtige navne er overhovedet. Øh. Sådan der. Ej, den er flot, den der. Weakness. Wow, det var en fra, så vi bare vundet. Min far har set en kæmpe Elvis-fan, og han kunne lide den. Ja, okay, så må den være ikke så kontroversiel, fordi hvis man er virkelig stor fan og godt kan lide den, så må den vel have været fin nok. Jeg ved, at jeg gik i klasse med en, som er altså kæmpe, kæmpe, kæmpe Elvis-fan, og hun har også set den og været lige så stor Elvis-fan bagefter. Jeg føler, hvis de sådan snakkede om, at, at han sjal for andre... Jeg har ikke sat mig ind i noget overhovedet. Det her det er vidderligt bare sådan noget, jeg har hørt og læst og sådan noget. Øh, men at hvis filmen så omhandlede, at han faktisk stjal fra andre kunstnere, så ville det jo nok... Ja, så ved jeg ikke. Så, så tænker jeg heller ikke, at, at man ville kunne lide den. Baby hed Emma. Ej, det er også cute. Ud fra hvad jeg har set, så handler filmen om Elvis' liv, karriere, fortalt og set ud fra hans managers synspunkt. Okay, det er spændende. Det er spændende. Ja, han gør det også mega godt, ham der. Jeg kan ikke engang huske, hvad han hedder. Ham, der spiller Elvis. Han ligner ham sygt meget, det er vildt. Jeg har ikke hørt nogen sige noget dårligt om den endnu. Nej, okay. Det må også være godt, så vi kan godt være, at man skulle se den. Jeg synes, jeg har så mange film, jeg skal se. Oh, og nu skal jeg også se 1000 plus episoder. Huh, det er tough at være mig. Kan I godt høre? Øh, ej, altså skal nok det her, det er sådan lidt... Øh, lidt crazy. Jeg skal også ind og se den nye Thor-film. Den glæder jeg mig til at se. Mm-mm. Moltres. Nå, det var da så lidt irriterende. Åh, oh, der var også en Mariana her. Ja, uh, yeah, Mariana! Ja! Yeah! <laughs> har I så set, at uh, Anders V. Bertelsen skal spille Bamse? Uh, ej, jeg er så dårlig til det navn, men jeg har set traileren for den. Uh, og det tror jeg da også, at det er sådan... Er det ikke fint nok, at det er ham, der skal spille den, eller hvad? Det ved jeg ikke. Jeg har ikke sat så meget ind i. Hvis der er noget, jeg ikke ved noget som helst om, så er det danske skuespillere og deres navne og bla bla bla. Ja, den vil jeg gerne se i Bamsefilmen. Ja, altså det ved jeg ikke. Jeg, jeg synes, det, der er langt imellem danske film, jeg faktisk øh, synes er gode. <laughs> og jeg er virkelig ikke særlig kritisk. Jeg synes bare tit, at de danske film, de kan bare meget hurtigt gå hen og blive sådan lidt cringe. Jeg ved ikke, om det er bare mig, der har det sådan. Det kan godt være, det er bare mig. Ikke ifølge mig, jeg vil helst gerne have, at de ligner så meget som muligt, og der synes jeg godt nok slet ikke, de rammer. Nej, men er det ikke også det, at, at med danske skuespillere, at det er som om, at de bare tager de kendte? Altså, det er ikke tit, at de sådan tager nogen, der ikke er kendte, og faktisk tager dem ind i filmen. Altså, det er sådan meget indspist, der føler jeg. Jeg er en Snorlax, og min yndlings Pokémon er en Charmander. <laughs> oh, cute. Charmander er altså også virkelig, virkelig cute. Elsker Charmander. Okay, det går virkelig dårligt, det her. Øh, jamen det der kan vi jo lige så godt gøre så Girl, you and me both Skuespillers navne generelt og kendte sig Og don't open Nej, altså virkelig same 
Jeg har sådan en, nogle enkelte gange har jeg sådan lidt styr på reality-stjernerne og sådan. That's it. Altså, det har jeg ikke engang. Hvis jeg ikke følger med i sæsonerne, så er jeg ikke, hvem det er. Altså, det er sådan... Men det er også bare sådan lidt indspis. Det er de samme, der er med i alting. Så hvis du kan en sæson, så kan du sikkert dem alle. Men nej, jeg, øh, det siger mig ikke så meget. Alt det der. Men det er sådan ikke, at jeg er kritisk med filmen. Øh. Du er da kommet lidt op siden jeg var den halv, øh, nummer 50 follower. Ja, det er jeg. Det er gået mega stærkt her, øh, siden jeg ramte de 50. Da vi ramte de 50, så gik der hvad? To streams eller sådan noget. Så ramte jeg 60. Og så satte jeg den op til 70 sidste stream. Og nu er jeg allerede... Ja, det går mega hurtigt, det er lidt fedt. Jeg synes, det er mega sjovt, så nu mangler jeg bare, at jeg faktisk øh, har streamet nok gange til, at, øh, at jeg bliver affiliated. Men det er bare som om, der hele tiden kommer noget i vejen. Der skal streame 7 dage på 30 dage, og det burde jo være meget let. Men, øh, ja. øh, når der er breaking news på Ekstrabladet med kendt og elsker skuespiller død, og man er bare sådan lidt hu. Ja, true. Altså virkelig, det er sådan nogle gange, hvor man bare tænker, jeg aner ikke, hvem fanden du er, men godt for dig, eller hvad man nu skal sige. Altså, det er virkelig, virkelig sådan, der er nogle gange. Ej, det går helvedes, det der. Har I set de nye Pokémon-serie? Altså, den der Hishuan-serie på YouTube, eller er det den, øh, den du tænker på? Det skal nok komme, you got this. Åh, oh, det så tak. Jeg altså, tror også, at jeg nok skal nå det. Altså, jeg ved faktisk ikke engang, hvor meget jeg er på nu. Men det skal jo være inden for de her 30 dage. Men nu har jeg fået et nyt job, hvor jeg sådan har lidt bedre arbejdstider. Så jeg har virkelig sat mig for, at nu bliver jeg simpelthen nødt til, at det er 7 dage på 30 dage. Det burde godt kunne lade sig gøre. Det burde godt kunne lade sig gøre. Så det, det skal jeg. Så det sker lige om lidt. Lige om lidt. <laughs> Håber vi. Og så når det sker, så holder vi en fed stream. Nej, den på Netflix. Åh, oh, den kan jeg ikke huske, hvad jeg hedder. Men den der History on på YouTube, den er virkelig, virkelig god. Den burde I alle sammen se. Jeg er i gang med at se Pokémon Journeys, ja, at ved episode 36 kan godt lide, at den ikke følger formatet fra tidligere, men rejser rundt i alle regioner og bare udforsker Pokémons. Er det den, der er den nye på, øh, på Netflix? Det kunne godt være, at man skulle se den, så jeg har hørt mange snakke mega godt om den, men det er endnu en ting, jeg skal se, det går ikke. Jeg får sådan stress af alle de ting, jeg skal se. Og der er en Mariana episode så automatisk thumbs up. Jamen, så er det jo en god, så er det en god serie, uanset, altså... <laughs> Det kunne godt se ud. Hvis vi... Vi vinder ikke denne her. Det går godt nok dårligt, det her. Det er sådan her, det har været hele aften, føler jeg. Jeg føler virkelig, at jeg har været uheldig i aften. Det må være varme. Jeg kan slet ikke tænke ordentligt i varme. <laughs> Men det kan jeg 0, 1, 87, 89. Det er godt nok heller ikke, da. Nå, jeg synes da godt nok, han øh... tager den. På rejsen, den ene serie. Testkamp, you can do it. Ah, ja, jeg håber, men øh, så skal jeg godt nok til at trække lidt bedre. Hmm. Ja, lad os bruge den her nu. Nej, den er jo der i, så det kan faktisk være lidt lige meget. Den er heller ikke. Hold nu op, mand. Ah, varmen er også lettere i dag. Helt vildt. Det er virkelig, virkelig lummer i dag. Det er sindssygt. Da jeg skulle lukke kundene ud i haven fra morges af, der gik jeg ud og var bare sådan allerede ved at dø. Allerede der. Altså det var bare sådan lidt, oh, can't do this. Nej. Nej, 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 nej. Mesterrejsen hedder den anden serie på Netflix. Ja, okay, det kan godt være, jeg har faktisk slet ikke Netflix. Så det kan være, det er derfor, jeg ikke lige har lagt mærke til dem, men det kan da godt være, man lige skal det end at se dem. Jeg har i hvert fald hørt, at de skulle være meget gode. Men den der Hishuan serie på YouTube, den er altså virkelig sød. Men der er kun to eller tre afsnit ud indtil videre. Det er sådan noget, der kommer sådan noget, nogle afsnit ud hver måned eller sådan noget. Det er sygt og irriterende. Den hedder bare Pokémon Journeys på engelsk. Ja, okay. Det er nok det, man skal søge efter så, hvis man lige skal se den et sted. Den med Go, ikke? Setsu the Trainer. Oh my god. Jeg kan også mærke, at den her den var helt kold, da jeg tog den ud. 
Og nu er den sådan helt lummer. Heldigvis er smand der stadig godt, men øh. Okay, den er selvfølgelig også stået Der er allerede gået to timer at streame. Det er så vildt. Det tid, det går bare så hurtigt. Åh, oh, det er så vildt. Det er så hyggeligt altid. Mm. Hvorfor må jeg ikke gøre noget? Tak for det. Hvad skal vi gøre? Hvad skal vi gøre? Så skal vi sætte hende derude. Nana, hvad Pokémon er du, og hvad er yndlings af din Pokémon? Uh, hvilken Pokémon jeg er? Den, min yndlings Pokémon er Togepi. Helt klart. Men hvad for en jeg er? Jeg tror, hvis jeg skulle være en Pokémon, så tror jeg gerne, jeg ville være Ninetales. Jeg synes bare, den er så elegant og så fin. Altså, at, at det, det gad jeg godt være. Og det er også en af mine yndlings. Mit top 3 er helt klart... Øh, Øh, Togepi og øh, Voldpix Ninetales og Mew og Bidoof. Det var godt nok top 4. Men, øh, og helst Alolan Voldpix og Ninetales. Jeg har faktisk, den kan I lige se. Jeg har... Øh, øh, uh, min life-size Togepi. Ah, den er så fin. Den er stadig ret ny. Jeg elsker den så meget. Det er, den er så dejlig. Jeg er så glad for den. Så øh, den er jeg mega glad for. Åh, oh, det var sådan helt ret lige at komme op og stå lidt. Det er min ben, de er sådan helt klistret. She said my name. I'm so awesome now, popular kid. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> ja, det... Jeg ved godt, jeg er bare mega sej. <laughs> Men nej, så det er helt klart min yndlings Pokémon. Det er Togepi. Jeg tror, jeg vil være en Ninetales. Det tror jeg, det er mit svar. Den plakat, plakat, du har i baggrunden, er det den originale? Nej, det var egentlig købt i, øh, i BR for et år siden eller sådan noget. Så det er vel, det er jo en original, men det er ikke den, den gamle plakat, nej. Men øh, uh, tæt på. Men jeg er virkelig glad for den, jeg synes, den er virkelig flot. Og så har jeg også, jeg ved ikke om man kan se det, så har jeg sådan øh, fra displaycase.dk, så gå lige ud og tjek dem. Gå lige ind og tjekke dem ud, hvis ikke I ved, hvad det er. Hvis I har gradet kort, så er det simpelthen sådan nogle bokse, jeg ved ikke, hvad man skal kalde det, som, hvor du kan hænge din uh, gradet kort op. Og de har lavet en uh, special med Togepi-mønster i, hvor jeg har mit Togepi-kort fra Southern Island i, så den er mega sej. Så jeg er virkelig begyndt at være vild med mit sådan, setup her, jeg er virkelig glad for det. Du skulle cosplay Misty nu, hvor du har en Togepi. Jeg har faktisk overvejet det. Jeg gad godt i gang med at prøve at lave noget cosplay, men øh, jeg skal bare have fat i tingene. Man kan sige, at Misty er jo nemt nok at cosplay. Øh, men, øh, men jeg har faktisk overvejet, at man skal til at prøve at cosplay lidt. Jeg kan også godt prøve at cosplay nogle af Pokémonsene. Altså lave sådan en Eevee cosplay eller sådan et eller andet. Det kunne også være mega hyggeligt. Jeg er også begyndt at gemme sådan billeder af folk, der sådan har tegnet noget eller gjort noget, hvor jeg tænker, uh, det vil jeg også gøre. Men øh, det er det der med, at man skal lige have det købt hjem og sådan noget, det man skal bruge til det. Men jeg gad det faktisk godt. Det kunne være lidt sejt, og især nu, når jeg har togepi. Det kunne være fedt øh, cosplay. Også fordi den er life size, så det ville være helt, øh, helt ægte. Prøv at tænke på, at det er den her størrelse, togepi har i virkeligheden. Ej, jeg elsker den så meget. Men hvis der er andet, I vil se i min samling, så kan I bare sige til, fordi at, øh, jeg har det hele lige her om bag mig. Alting. Så hvis der er noget, I vil se, så kan I bare sige til, inden vi tager næste, næste runde. Det eneste, der er, det er at kigge til den der displaycase-ting ned, fordi den sidder fast i væggen, og jeg ved ikke lige, hvordan Men, øh, jeg får den ned. Men øh, I kan da bare lige sige til, hvis der er et eller andet, en serie, nogle kort, eller whatever, I lige vil se. Så kan vi da lige tage det. Øh, jeg lavede engang et shaman cosplay. Jeg tror faktisk, det var det sidste, jeg lavede, inden artist, artist Ali overtog min tid. <laughs> artist Ali? Det ved jeg ikke, hvad jeg er for noget. Er det en, en uh, content creator, eller hvad? Men shaman cosplay, det lyder altså også mega sejt. Det kunne faktisk også være virkelig godt. Jeg har også tænkt, at sådan et uh, Ninetales cosplay kunne også være virkelig flot. Prøv lige at overveje sådan en flot hale efter sig. Åh, oh, det kunne være sindssygt. Men jeg ved, der er rigtig mange på sådan noget. Amazon og Ebay og sådan noget, der sælger uh, uh, Evolution ører. Så jeg har faktisk... Noget af det, jeg har lidt allermest efter, det har været et Sylvian cosplay. Fordi at det ville være ret nemt sådan, at sætte sammen af at finde nogle søde, søde kjoler og sådan lidt forskelligt. Så jeg tror bare, jeg skal i gang. Jeg tror, det kunne være virkelig sjovt. Og fordi jeg elsker det. Jeg har altid, altså, siden jeg sådan blev introduceret til internettet, øh, har jeg altid stået mega fedt det der med, når folk klæder sig ud. Og jeg har virkelig fulgt mange sådan, cosplayers altid. Og jeg kan huske, at dengang jeg gik i folkeskolen, der var det sådan... 
det var jo ikke mega sejt mm. at gøre det. Så jeg sagde det ikke rigtigt til nogen. Og når jeg så sagde til nogen sådan, ej, har du set hende her? Så var de altid sådan lidt, mm, jeg var der med hende øh, Så jeg har altid synes det var mega, mega sejt, men jeg har sådan aldrig rigtig gjort noget ved det. Også fordi jeg er ikke særlig kreativ. Så hvis jeg skal lave cosplay, så skal det være, altså, vidderligt noget, der er lavet for mig. Fordi jeg kan ikke, jeg er virkelig ikke særlig kreativ. <laughs> altså det er virkelig øh, ikke min stærke evne. Og hvis man skal købe noget, så er det bare virkelig, virkelig dyrt. Det ved conventions, ligesom J-popcon, det er der områder, der bliver kaldt artist alley, hvor private kunstnere kan sælge deres kunst, ofte fanart og animaer og ting. Ej, mega sejt, laver du så sådan noget og tager til sådan nogle ting? Det er mega sejt, fordi du tegner i hvert fald mega godt. Jeg synes virkelig, de er flotte, dem, de ting, du laver. Jeg kan lige prøve, skal vi lige give dig et shout-out her. Jeg synes i hvert fald, det er mega, mega flot. Det er noget af det sådan flottere i, i Danmark, synes jeg. Altså, prøv lige at se. Ah, hvor er det cute. Også fordi, det synes mange af dem, der laver, laver noget, så kan man se, at det nærmest ikke er dem, der har tegnet det. De har bare vidderligt taget noget fra et kort og lavet. Men prøv lige at se, hvor godt det der er. Og prøv lige at se, Big Doof. Jeg elsker det virkelig. Jeg elsker det virkelig. Og den der. Så det er lige shout out her. Hvis ikke I følger hende, så please gå ind og gør det, fordi at... Hold lige se... Altså, det der burde være grunden af, til at man går ind og følger. Det er virkelig godt i hvert fald, det der bliver lavet. Og se en cherry sart også. Det er, det er virkelig, virkelig, virkelig godt, synes jeg. Øh, du ligner Skyla fra Pokémon. Jeg, jeg har faktisk også overvejet at skulle øh, cosplay hende. Fordi jeg har jo det pinke hår. Det er jo godt nok ikke hele håret, der er pink, men... Øh... Ja, ja. Jeg brugte meget tid på cosplay før og hjalp mine venner, som var med i cosplay show. Jeg begyndte så at sidde som kunstner i Artist Alley i stedet, og med tiden så blev arrangør og ansvarlig for Artist Alley området ved J-popcorn. Wow, det er mega sejt. Ej, det er mega sejt. Hvad er det der J-popcorn? Er det i Danmark så, eller hvad er det? Hvad er det link, du har sendt? Jeg kan ikke uh, åbne det link, du har sendt. Den siger, at den kan ikke åbne. Nå, ej. Tak, ja, det er så lidt, det er så lidt. Vi skal hjælpe hinanden, og det er mega fedt i hvert fald, det du tegner. Nå, ej, men det der J-popcorn, er det så... Jeg er virkelig sådan ikke særlig... Ikke særlig inde i alt det der. Øh, at all dansk anime. Ej, fedt, hvornår er det? Det har været der i år så, eller hvad? Ej, det kunne da godt være, at man skulle til det. Weekendbillet koster ikke engang 500 kroner for en hel weekend. Det skulle sgu da vildt. Ej, det kunne da godt være, at man skulle det. At plejer det at være fedt, eller hvad? Plejer det at være sjovt? Også fordi, hvis det er en hel weekend, så plejer det at være... Så burde det da være stort. Altså, det er sådan en helt ny verden for mig, det her. Lige prøv at sætte det op. At det er sådan, øh... Jeg har altid elsket sådan noget der, men jeg tror ikke, jeg har kendt nogen, der sådan kan noget til det. Så derfor har man ikke rigtig sådan... Ja, gjort noget. Kan man ikke komme ind og se billeder? Man kunne se videoer. Jo, galeri. Øh, Popcorn er Danmarks største anime og manga convention i Danmark. Det blev afholdt en gang om året i København. Det har været afholdt 20 år. Wow, det er vildt. Ja, 2005. Sindssygt. Ah, Mew! Det er det fra 2019. Ej, så er det bare kæmpe stort. Ej, det vil jeg mega gerne se. Ej, så er der nogen, der er klædt ud der. Det er fandme sejt. Så kommer folk bare også klædt ud, eller hvad? Fordi det har jeg hørt skulle være en ting. Fordi nu har Pokécon, det ved jeg ikke om her, hørt, men sådan Pokécon, de har jo også været ude ligesom at sige, at der kommer til at være noget kon- kostymekonkurrence agtigt ved Pokécon. Øh, jeg er sådan lidt i tvivl, om man skal gøre noget, eller om man ikke skal gøre noget, men det finder vi ud af. Øh, og så var jeg sådan, wow, du ved, ej, det er lidt sejt Og så var jeg sådan, om det er meget almindeligt ved sådan nogle conventions. Så sådan, oh, okay, undskyld, det vidste jeg ikke. Øh, uh, ja, yeah, Pokécons. Det er jo godt, du lige kunne sende et link til det. At uh, billetsalg til Pokécon. Der kommer jeg i hvert fald. Vi plejer at have en 4.000 gæster igennem i løbet af weekenden. What? Der afholdes også Danmarks Mesterskaberne i Cosplay, hvor, hvor vores repræsentanter til internationale konkurrencer udvælges. Yes, masser af cosplays. Danmark er ret god på den internationale cosplays. Nå, ej, det vidste jeg faktisk ikke. Det er da lidt sejt. Wow, prøv at se det der, at hende tegner. Ej, det skal der da sindssygt meget med til. Ej, det er cute. Ej, det ser hyggeligt ud. Åh. 
Og så sidder man lige der og hygger. Wow. <laughs> der er mange ting der. Ja, det er jo helt over i Københavnstrup. Ja, men det... Altså, både det her og Pokécon er i København. Og det er faktisk lidt ærgerligt, at Pokécon er i København, skal jeg være ærlig at sige. Men så må man jo tage til Storbyen. Der er ikke andet for. Der er ikke andet for. Så må også øh, Bonde Knold jo komme afsted. <laughs> skal man købe øh, begge billetter øh, til Pokécon? Eller, øh, fordi til Pokécon, der er der øh, billet til... Øh, Øh, hvis du skal have turnering, og så til den almindelige. Og hvis du skal være med i turneringen, så skal du købe, oh, så skal du købe øh, turneringsbilletten, og ellers så skal du bare købe den anden billet, og så kan man så tilkøbe en goodie bag. Det har jeg så også gjort. Øh, og ellers til Nordic Cards i Rigskov, det var mega nice. Ja, det var jeg også. Det var faktisk virkelig godt, og virkelig, virkelig stort også. Øh, ej, det er altså også vildt tegnet, det der. Virkelig stort, men de har jo også slået det sammen, så Pokécon og Nordic Card Show, de har slået sig sammen nu. Så det bliver et sådan kæmpe event. Vi har vundet flere førstepladser ved nordiske og europæiske mesterskaber, og fået en specialpris ved den internationale konkurrence. What? Det skulle sgu da sindssygt. Det endte jeg slet ikke, at vi var så gode. Ej, prøv lige at se, hvor cute de er alle sammen er. Ej, jeg vil også... Jeg vil også være sej. Ej, prøv lige at se, hvor cute det der det er. Ej, det er cute. Åh, oh, det er det der artist alley. Ej, det er mega cute. Ej, det vil jeg mega gerne. Det tror jeg, jeg skal til, når det er. Det var jeg slet ikke klar over. Kunne være så fedt at komme til Pokécon. Ja, jeg skal i hvert fald til Pokécon. Øh, jeg har allerede købt billetter det hele, så jeg kommer i hvert fald til Pokécon. Det, det skal jeg. tror, det bliver mega godt. Jeg var ikke med sidste år, så... Men jeg elsker bare generelt sådan noget, at komme ud og møde sådan... Folk, man sådan kender, og folk, man har skrevet med, og ikke mødt i virkeligheden før, og sådan noget. det er mega sjovt. Så det er bare mega fedt, at, sådan, at der bliver lavet sådan noget. Ej, det er godt nok cute, det der outfit derovre. Ej, hvor er det fedt, at folk bare sådan er klædt ud. I found my people. <laughs> det er fra Lolita Fashion Showet. Når det der er... Øh... Ej, er der sådan... Wow, de er seje. Det er så sindssygt, også fordi, at, altså nu har jeg, ved jeg ikke så meget, men jeg har sådan en idé om, at de fleste cosplayer, de sådan laver deres kostymer selv, og det er jo sindssygt. Altså når man ser, ej, det er Belle, prøv at se, ej hvor flot, når man sådan ser på nogle af de kostymer, der er, altså prøv lige at se det her, prøv lige at forestille jer at lave det her, der, altså er det også noget, du sidder og laver så? Nå, jeg skal ind og spille, men ven, det var hyggeligt at hilse på og fortsætte god stream, tak for det, og tak fordi du hoppede ind, det var mega hyggeligt. God spilning med din ven. Vil også gerne til Pokécon, skal bare lige finde ud af noget med transport. Om det bliver med tog, eller om man kan lave noget samkørsel fra Odense og something. Ja, altså jeg ved i hvert fald, at jeg skal følges med, øh, med en. Øh, men jeg tænker næsten, at når man kommer tættere på, at så skrives vi lige sammen med alle fra Odense og finder ud af, hvad man gør og sådan noget. Fordi hvis vi er flere, der kører sammen, så tror jeg bedst, det kan svare sig, at vi kører frem for at, at tage tog. Jeg ved, jeg var øh, på Sjælland med øh, Neo Ace, hvis I ved, hvem det er. Det er ikke sikkert, det er lige meget. <laughs> Men hvis, han var jeg på Sjælland ved. Og øh, der kunne det svare sig for os, og vi var kun to at køre over broen. Men det var kun lige over broen, vi skulle. Så jeg ved ikke, om det kan svare sig at køre helt ind til København. Også fordi, at hvis der er noget, jeg hader, så er der at køre i byer. Så det er sådan, uh-huh. Hvis man vil deltage til de internationale konkurrencer, så skal man selv lave sit cosplay. Det er simpelthen et krav, vildt nok. Men det giver måske også god nok mening. Ej, det er virkelig vildt. Men er det sådan noget... Altså, har du så også siddet og lavet sådan nogle kostymer der og sådan noget? For det er virkelig sejt. Det er virkelig, virkelig fedt. Altså, jeg synes, jeg vil ønske, at jeg kunne sådan noget der. Jeg vil ønske, at jeg sådan... Og jeg vil også ønske, at jeg bare sådan kunne overskue og gå i gang med at lære det. Men jeg sådan... Altså, sidst jeg brugte en symaskine, var jo da man skulle have håndarbejde i... Hvad? 7. klasse. Altså, jeg aner ikke, hvor man skulle starte hen. Og jeg var også sådan på et tidspunkt, var sådan, skulle man så starte med at prøve bare at syge puder og sådan noget? Men jeg kan simpelthen ikke overskue det. <laughs> jeg kan simpelthen ikke overskue det. Så jeg tror, hvis jeg skulle lave noget sådan cosplay, så ville det være sådan noget. Så hvis man skulle cosplaye en evolution, altså, så ville det være sådan noget... Jeg kan lige prøve at se om... Nu er det bare blevet en total sådan just chatting uh, stream, det her. Åh, uh, uh, oh, jeg kan slet ikke stave her. Altså, så skulle det være sådan noget mere sådan simpelt. Øh, se om der overhovedet kommer noget op, når jeg søger det her. Øh. Det er overhovedet et eksempel, det her. Jo, det der. Se, sådan lidt det der. 
at så er det sådan ørerne, og det er sådan lidt et normalt outfit. For det vil jeg sådan kunne overskue. Ej, det er virkelig også fedt. Det vil jeg sådan kunne overskue, og jeg så faktisk noget mega... Okay, er det der lige mega fucking sejt, eller er det lige mega fucking sejt? What? Ej, jeg er fan. What? Okay, jeg kan godt se, at, at mit øh, normale outfit, hvor jeg bare lige vil finde en kjole, der er lyserød, og så det, 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 det er knap så sejt. <laughs> Lukker bare lidt dernede igen. <laughs> øh, det er det, hvis man lægger sammen til benzin og bruger, og man samler en 3-4 personer i en bil, så kan det godt spare sig. Ja, men det må vi helt klart lige finde ud af, når det er. Altså, jeg er ikke helt på det der niveau, de er. Mange af mine venner har deltaget i de der crazy ting, dog. Det er for vildt, at man kan det der, synes jeg. Det synes jeg virkelig, det er. Jeg synes virkelig, det er, det er sindssygt. Det er mega sejt. Ej, jeg gad også godt. Men jeg kan faktisk se, at klokken den er allerede ved at være ret mange, så øh, jeg tror faktisk, at vi siger øh, tak for den stream. Det var mega hyggeligt igen. Øh, jeg håber, jeg kommer til at kunne streame lidt mere nu, så vi kan nå at blive affiliated. Det kunne være mega sejt. Øh, men ja, igen igen, så var det bare mega hyggeligt og mega sjovt at stream. Og det var mega hyggeligt med jer i chatten og sådan noget. Øh, så ja, vi, øh, vi ses bare i den næste... Stream, så husk at følge mig ind på Instagram, for det er der, jeg ligesom lægger ud, hvornår jeg streamer, og så øh, håber jeg, I må have en god aften. Så øh, hej hej!